Hello my friends and welcome back. Today I'm going to share with you four cards that I made using the October small and large die of the month from Spellbinders. And I'm going to get started first using the small die of the month, which was this girl that you can use. She can hold a pie or a tree or presents and um, she's super cute. Love this die. This makes some really cute cards. I'm going to be using this paper pad called Merry and Bright. And I think it's an older paper pack. I think I picked it up at like Tuesday morning. But I'm going to start off by creating myself a wallpapered wall in the background. And then I took an embossing folder. It's got a diagonal stripe on it. And I used it on some white paper. And then I'm just going to make a little strip across to kind of designate between the wood paneling and the wallpaper. Then I've already put my little girl together because um, you've already seen probably enough videos of people putting these back and forth putting these together for you. But if you hadn't, just head over to the Spellbinders website and they have all of the tutorials to put together all of their little die kits. So I'm using the Holiday Cheer, which came in the uh, monthly subscription. Those were the word dies. And I'm just kind of arranging myself a little scene here. And um, basically what I did is I want her to be kind of holding the pie. I want to have the little tree and the presents in here. And it's like a little scene where she's showing up, you know, to a holiday gathering. So I'm just going to make myself a table out of some scrap paper because my tree is small. So it's I felt like it needed to be sitting up on like a little like a little table and then the presents down underneath. So once I get all that all glued down, I'm going to pop my presents up in front of my tree. <clears throat> Excuse me. I also popped up the pie in her hand so it doesn't look like she's hugging it but actually holding it. And then I added some clear sparkling gems just to give it a little more sparkle. And there's a close-up. Super easy, cute way to put together some cards. Now I wanted to do a fall one as well using the same small die. So this time I picked some paper that's more fall themed and I'll show it to you here in a second. And she's going to be holding a pumpkin pie in her hands. And I'm just going to start putting together, maybe I'm not going to show you. No, I do. There it is. So this is the farmhouse paper pad, and that's another one that I think I picked up at Tuesday morning. I also used a wood grain da um, embossing folder on that. It's not white. It's a cream-colored paper. And now I'm just going to start layering up my card base, just giving her something to stand on. I also used some um, brown glitter paper, um, just strips. I don't want to waste my glitter paper. On either side of that cream-colored wood embossed piece. And then I'm just going to kind of figure out where I want to place my girl. She's again holding the pie, but this time I'm using the pumpkin and some of the greenery from the large die of the month. So I'm kind of mixing them together so that I can go more with that fall theme that I was looking for rather than just the Christmassy theme that is more the small die is, it seems to be more Christmassy. And then the large die seems to be more for fall. And I'm just going to add some greenery and some of the flowers, and all of these come in the large die kit. I used the sentiment that came in it, see you soon, and that will complete card number two. There's a close-up of that one. These dies are super cute and really easy to use. And I'm sorry about my voice, but I'm having like the worst allergies uh, the last couple days. For the large die of the month, I wanted to use a paper pad with some real pretty colors that are not traditionally fall. So I'm using like this kind of teal paper for the pumpkin. I've cut out a whole bunch of greenery and I'm just going to kind of create like a corner spray of greenery. And then, you know, just kind of a little scene to put, place my pumpkin in and just kind of make a little, little fall area there. So I'm using this um, pearlescent cream colored paper as my background just so that I can use all of the pretty pattern papers for my leaves. I also cut out as kind of the base um, these in gold. So that's gold paper. Just to kind of give it a real pretty base to place my the rest of my greenery around. And that's basically it. So I'm just going to speed up through this. Um, I'll leave it all in so you can kind of see the process of just this one. This is the only one that I do that, leaving all of the work in, but I did speed it up quite a bit. And this paper pad is one of the paper pads that I picked up from Joann's, and they have their own brand of paper that they're carrying now, and believe it or not, guys, it is really pretty. I've picked up two different paper pads from them, and I've used it on a few different projects, and I really love it. I wish they would put out more because my Joann's doesn't have very many 
choices of this paper pack but boy when they do I pick it up right away because I think their paper is absolutely gorgeous and it's good quality too it's not it's not like cheap thin paper it's really good quality cardstock so if you get a chance to head over to Joann's and check that out um, I highly recommend their, their paper packs I'm just gonna fluff up all my leaves add my last few little pieces that I'm gonna pop in I also cut out a bunch of the flowers because on the large die you can see right here on the side there's a bunch of little areas where you can place flowers right on top makes it super easy so that everything is really um, it's real easy to put these things together you just cut and go cut and go I am using a um, little stylus to kind of pop up my flowers give them a little bit more dimension you do the same thing with the leaves and there's also places for berries so there's um, one of the dies that you have that cuts out the a bunch of flowers also cuts out the berries as well. So that's going to complete that card, and I'll show you close up to get a better, better idea of how it looks. I also added some gems from the uh, main kit, the, some of the lighter blue ones uh, around it, just to give it a little bit more sparkle. And then I'm going to use this die to give thanks, cat scrappiness die, and I'm going to make a wreath because. I have to. I just love making wreaths. So this is my final card, number four, and I'm going to make a wreath out of all this greenery. And basically what I did is I cut out the Give Thanks Twice from the Park Lane. That's the paper brand, by the way. This is the other one from um, Joanne's it's called Park Lane. And the Woodland one, um, I cut it out twice. I gave myself a base, and then I cut it out with one that's kind of like a wood grain to, for the Give Thanks part. And now I'm just going to fluff up all of my greenery which I cut out from a bunch of different patterns that are in that paper pack. I'm going to go all the way around this one. And I'm not going to leave all of it in because we would be here for a while because it takes a while to put these together, but they're so fun. It's kind of almost therapeutic for me to just sit here and paper piece stuff together. I love doing this. So I've, I've started, I'm just going to kind of jump in here and there and show you where I'm at, but now I'm, I'm, placing down flowers. I did it layer by layer to make sure that I got flowers. So inside this wreath, even in the very first layer, there's flowers. So that way the whole leaf, the whole wreath looks um, a little more real because the flowers aren't just sitting right on the top. They're kind of spread out throughout the whole thing. And then giving them all dimension also helps make it look more, more like a real wreath. So now I'm just going to add Basically, I'm on the top layer now. I popped up my pumpkin, placed my greenery around the pumpkin, and then I fussy cut out so you could see it in the paper pack right there, that little gray bunny. I thought he would be cute just kind of standing off to the side of the pumpkin. And then I'm just going to add some Nouveau drops to the center of my flowers and fluff it up a bit, and that's going to do it for this card. Uh, it, was, it was really fun to make this one, and I love this paper, so it makes it, like, easy for stuff to go together when it looks nice together. Here's a close-up of this one. And then I'm going to kind of quickly run through all four of the cards, show them to you again. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. I hope you guys are getting a few more ideas and enjoying uh, these videos. I tried not to group them together this time for you so that you could see the small and the large die separate from the kit. Um, I'll probably do the same thing with the November kit because they have uh, enough for me to split them up. And um, again, thank you so much, and I'll see you again real soon. Have a great week. Bye-bye.